Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and this is the Hilltop Zone, probably one of the more fun levels in the game. We bought the midway point, I would say. Bought this or the Mystic Cave. I'm not sure which is. But this zone is pretty fun. It can be kind of difficult at times, though. I always used to think this pi these pillars looked like they had faces. It looked like they had, like, covered faces, kind of. You look at them. But it could be just me, I don't know. No, these are throwback to the Starlight Speedway. I know there's a way to get up there, but I can't think of how. Go down the pipe. Yay! Okay. Now, I remember back in the day when this game came out, they had a bunch of cards to go with Sonic 1 and 2. Like They had all the different enemies and stuff on them. And levels and you know, characters and stuff. They would give you tips and tricks to the game. Although sometimes, sometimes the advice was kind of derp. Got me killed sometimes. <laughs> but, whatever. You live and you learn. I'll, I'll give you an example when we come across a particular enemy that was kind of derp. In my opinion. That, that they gave kind of bad advice about, sort of. Now, this place isn't particularly dangerous. Now, this enemy in particular, um, they, they said on one of the cards that if you defeat this enemy, they'll become your friend. When I, or if, they if you jump on their back, they'll become your friend. Which is technically true, because their backs will not hurt you. But, and you can use it as a platform, but they won't, be, they won't help you in any way. Uh... There's a reason I can't go that way. They go the wrong way. Hmm. Hmm. I was gonna say, there should have been a gondola there. Oh well. These guys aren't particularly difficult. You gotta be careful with the timing on the springs there, because they will kill you. There's a spring in this little tunnel, so we gotta be careful there too. Yeah. This game is pretty fun though, I must admit. It's very nostalgic to play this game. Do 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 do. I don't remember what the uh music for this particular invincibility thing is. I remember this this is funny. Because I'm invincible, I can stand on the Oh! Well, that's interesting. I got through there pretty damn quick. They usually don't go through there that quick. Usually it can stand on the lava for a couple of seconds, which is pretty funny. Now you have to spin dash to get through that uh through the, that ground there. Through that pet pat those patches of ground. Otherwise you won't be able to get in. Ooh, I gotta continue on the hilltop zone. That's different. I usually don't get one on this level. In my opinion, getting continues in this particular version of Sonic, this particular Sonic game, is a little too easy. Jumping up. I really wish I could fix my sound problems, though. Maybe, maybe I'll, fix, I'll have to look it up somewhere. I've just been too lazy to do it. Too busy with school and whatnot. Do 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 do. Sorry I'm humming the music to this level. I remember it so well. It's very nostalgic for me. Even if I can't hear it at the moment. Boing. Boing. Tails, you fucking idiot. Now, sometimes, yeah, as you can see, sometimes the AI, Tails' is AI and pathing can be kind of piss me off. If I get killed, I'm, I swear I'm gonna kill you, stupid fox. Ugh. Okay, I'm not going that way. Those guys are kind of annoying to deal with. You don't want to know how many times I've died to them. Invincibilities! Sort of in. Oh, this bit. Oh, this bit is. What is this bit? I don't recall this at all. 
Oh, all right. I remember this part. Must have taken an alternate route that I'm used to. Usually get the lava path and this will only get this path ever. Where the lava is slowly rising up. This is kind of like the fire level of this game, sort of, because there's magma and whatnot. Okay, we're gonna. That's not what I wanted. Alright. Badoosh, badoosh, badoosh. Rings galore. Beep, beep, beep. Is this, ah, uh, this is a lava bit. Where is it? I don't recognize this area. I must have taken an alternate route and not known it. Well, I don't recognize some of this. Do, 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 do. Okay, this I kind of remember. Jump. Makes me wonder how fucking high we are. Huh. We have the boss already. Wow. Yeah, we skipped the lava bit. It's the part I usually remember doing. Now, this boss can be kind of tricky if you don't know what you're doing. I almost got hit there, actually. You gotta be careful about this boss. This boss isn't dangerous, but I don't consider him that difficult. But he can be, yeah, he can be kind of tricky sometimes. As you can plainly see. I don't consider this boss that hard, though. Not as hard as some of the bosses in this game. Especially the Metropolis Zone boss. Robotnik boss. I think he's almost dead, actually. Yep, he's dead. You be dead! Yeah, that was a shitty run. Well, thanks anyway, Tells. I could have done that. But whatever. Do, do, do. Into that level. On to the Mystic Cave. Now this is probably one of my more favorite levels, if only because the music is just so kick kick ass. And just the level design in general is really good. I hate those little pounder things. Those things annoy the shit out of me. Now believe it or not, I, I once had a dream or an idea once of like moving spike traps uh, that they should put into a sequel to Sonic if they ever made one when I was a kid. I was I honestly thought that as a kid before Sonic 2 came out, and they actually put something like that into the game. And when I saw that in the game, I'm like, wow, that's cool. I kind of had a dream about that. Which was kind of cool. I liked it. I liked the idea. And later I kind of thought of that they needed like a spike enemy type, like type badnik. And they put that into the game too. They put that in Sonic 3. Which I thought was kind of awesome. Now these light bugs are kind of a chore, because you can't hit them when they're lit up like that. So, just be wary of that. They're kind of invincible, you could say, and they will hurt you. Yay, invincibility. Now these boxes, you gotta be kind of careful of, because they can and will kill you. Oh, it's one of those infinite spring trap thingies. Now the... Ooh, I got a hundred rings on the Mystic Cave. Ha! Huh. That's odd. I almost never get that many rings in the souls. It's because it can be kind of difficult sometimes. Ooh, that was damn lucky. Now, I think those are called Megapedes. They're kind of like the evolution of the Catacillers from Sonic 1. Uh, this bit. This is not that difficult, really. It just looks difficult. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. That's how that music to this level goes. Do, do, do. Yeah, I really like this level. It's got really good music. Oh, well, I gotta continue on the Mystic Cave. That's a new one. Probably won't even use half my continues. I guarantee you. Now, this part can be kind of annoying because these platforms will, like, when they move past each other, they will swap you onto the other platform, which is kind of annoying. The Megapedes are easy enough to take care of. 
Ah, the springboards from hell level area. Like 50 of the little fucking things. One thing I kind of regret that they never did with those is they never had like a devious. Ooh, I was lucky. Uh, they never had a devious trap that dealt with uh, those really. I just kind of. Uh, they're kind of more like just annoying obstacles or ways to get through the level better. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break because I have to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back, folks. And I'm back. On to the rest of this level. Aw, oh, come on. Come on now. Stupid light bug. Lightning bug, or whatever they're called. Yeah, that's what they're called, folks. They don't have a very creative name. I don't remember half their names really anymore. I used to when I was a kid, but. I just remember the more iconic ones like Roll the Bug or Catakiller, Catakiller Junior, or, or, or Orbit, or whatever, or Sproink. Or, uh, actually, I know quite a few of them. Actually, this is kind of a devious trap because if you fall in the middle, middle there, you will die. It is basically a taunty death trap thingy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do, 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 do. Down we go. Now, I will admit that this area can be quite irritating, and I'll be right back, folks. Okay, I was just checking something, folks. Sorry about that. And I do believe we're at the boss already. The boss! This boss is eh, not that hard, really. It's kind of annoying. Now you can't attack him from the front or the top when his drills are there. You can kind of, the rocks won't hurt you, but the spikes will. This is not the case in Sonic 3, though. <laughs> Sonic Thrill the, 3, the rocks will kill you. And that's, a, that's it for that. This level is completed. Anyway... That is the Mystic Caves, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed the game so far, and see you next time. Bye-bye-bye.